This is Brother Peter Diamond, VaticanCatholic.com, and I wanted to take a few minutes and refute a lie that is common among non sedificantes and came up recently. And that is the claim that the heresies we bring forward, or some of them, are, quote, out of context. And before I get into that, I want to mention that I recently challenged a number of individuals to debates on the Sedivicontist issue, certain non sedivicontists who were trying to refute the Sedivicontist position. I challenged an individual named Delivering. He didn't even put his name, he just said, Get behind me, Satan. That was obviously to expose his cowardice in being unwilling to have a simple conversation about the issues. And I actually extended the offer in a very matter of fact and tactful, charitable way, but that's how he responds, because he's actually of Satan, and his lies would be exposed in a debate. I also challenged a guy named September to a debate in the same tactful, charitable manner. He responded by flipping out and accusing me of a laundry list of things, and I had never even conversed with this guy before, didn't insult him in any way, and he was obviously extremely troubled by the very concept he said that he had been preparing himself that this challenge might come and that, you know, gave me all these reasons why he wouldn't do it. And then I wrote him back and he actually acknowledged that he did overreact, but he still wouldn't debate. And the reason they wouldn't is because all these lies that they can put out, such as out of context and these other theological errors they promote, don't stand up in a conversation. Now, I did write another individual named Brett and offered him a challenge, and he said that perhaps late in April, and I said, okay, sounds good. But in the meantime, it came to our attention that he's actually trying to refute some of the things we're saying and saying that they're just all out of context and that Ratzinger doesn't believe anything like what we're saying he believes. And in the process, he really exposes himself to not have the first clue what he's talking about. And I have to put it this way because he's accusing us of being dishonest. And so I was going to handle it tactfully, but he really needs to be called out and exposed for, frankly, the fraud he is. In his attempted response to what we put out, he says that Ratzinger doesn't believe anything like what we claim he does. And to substantiate this point, he doesn't cite Ratzinger himself. He cites a news article which commented on Dominus Jesus in the year 2000, a document published by the Vatican when John Paul II was antipope and Ratzinger was head of the CDF, which was lauded by the clueless media as being a reactionary type of document. And he cites the news article which said that this document made it clear that these non-Catholic churches, quote, were not true churches and did not have the means of salvation, end quote. So referring to Dominus Jesus, Brett says that Dominus Jesus makes it clear that these non-Catholic churches are, quote, not true churches and did not have the means of salvation, end quote. Well, Perhaps if Brett had read Dominus Jesus, he might have the first clue what he's talking about, but unfortunately he doesn't. And that's why he's relying on news articles rather than actually the document itself. Dominus Jesus, which is probably the most conservative thing the Vatican II sect ever put out, still contains blatant heresies. And all you have to do is Google Dominus Jesus, go to the Vatican's document on its website, scroll down to paragraph 17, and yes, I've read the whole document, and see what it says about the non-Catholic churches which have a valid Eucharist but are not in full communion, quote, with the Catholic Church, meaning the Orthodox. Quote, The churches which, while not existing in perfect communion with the Catholic Church, remain united to her by means of the closest bonds, that is, by apostolic succession and a valid Eucharist, are true particular churches. Therefore, the Church of Christ is present and operative also in these churches, even though they lack full communion with the Catholic Church, since they do not accept the Catholic doctrine of the primacy. End quote. Okay? So, Brett said that Dominus Jesus completely refutes what we're saying, and he doesn't even do cite the document, he cites a news article about the document, and on that basis claims smugly that this proves that Ratzinger believed that these Eastern schismatic churches are, quote, not true churches and did not have the means of salvation. Well, because he's clueless, and that's part of what makes him a dangerous heretic, because he doesn't have any idea what he's talking about. The very document 
if he bothered to read it, directly contradicts them. It says that they are true particular churches. Okay? It also says they have apostolic succession, which is another false doctrine in it's, of itself, because they don't have any jurisdiction. But putting that aside, it says they are true particular churches. That means that they are true sectors of the universal church, even though, it says, they do not accept the primacy. It means that they are the equivalent of legitimate dioceses in the universal church, true particular churches. That is heresy. Vatican I says no one can be in the church, no one can have, have the faith if they reject the primacy, and a host of other popes we can quote on our website who repeat over and over again that you cannot be in the Church of Christ if you reject the papacy. And so the very document he's citing proves that he doesn't have any idea what he's talking about. He also said that Dominus Jesus, citing the news article, made it clear that these churches, quote, did not have the means of salvation. Well, how does that claim hold up? Again, completely wrong. The same paragraph, Dominus Jesus 17, says that these non-Catholic churches are, quote, means of salvation. I'll quote it. And it's a direct citation from Unitatis Redensa Gratio, Vatican II. Therefore, these churches and communities as such, though we believe they suffer from defects, have by no means been deprived of significance and importance in the mystery of salvation, for the Spirit of Christ has not refrained from using them as means of salvation, which derive their efficacy from the very fullness of grace and truth entrusted to the Catholic Church." End quote. So again, he's completely wrong on a second point. He claimed that it makes it clear that they are not means of salvation. It says exactly the opposite. He's clueless, and yet says that our stuff isn't to be taken seriously. This is the level of blindness we're dealing with. This is the level of dishonesty we're dealing with. This is the level of a spiritual fog we're dealing with. And it's because, frankly, these people's hearts, and they manifest the intentions of their heart by their actions, are not inclined to truth. They're inclined to lies, and that's why they're deceived. That's why people need to understand that Jesus makes it clear that not everyone is of the truth. That's why he says in John 18, verse 37, that he came into the world to give testimony to the truth, and that everyone that is of the truth heareth his voice, okay? Not everyone's of the truth. Some people you'll never convince with the truth. That's why people can hear scripture after scripture which proves that man can lose his salvation and will say it doesn't teach that. You can have the most obvious heresy from Ratzinger and they'll try to explain it away. And this brings me to another point. These heretics don't seem to understand that just because you might affirm Catholic teaching sometimes doesn't make you a Catholic if you deny it other times, okay? As we point out on our website, Pope Pius VI in Octorum Fidei says that heretics have always used ambiguity. He says they contradict themselves, they camouflage their heresies in ambiguity, they will affirm the truth and then deny it in a shocking way in another place, sometimes in the very context of the same document. These guys are so deceived that they think that because Ratzinger might say some conservative things sometimes that he couldn't believe or be held guilty for these other things. No, it makes no difference. Heretics have always done that. You can't vote in favor of abortion five times and that be justified just because you voted against it ten times. And let me quote Pope Pius VI. This is on our website, vaticancatholic.com, Octorum Fidei, on the methodology of heretics. He says, It cannot be excused in the way that one sees it being done. Under the erroneous pretext that the seemingly shocking affirmations in one place are further developed along orthodox lines in other places, and even yet in other places corrected, as if allowing for the possibility of either affirming or denying the statement, or of leaving it up to the personal inclinations of the individual. Such has always been the fraudulent and daring method used by innovators to establish error. It allows for both the possibility of promoting error and of excusing it. And he says that Nestorius, Bishop of Constantinople, did this very thing. And he explains what he did. He says, quote, mixing true things with others that were obscure, mixing at times one with the other in such a way that he was also able to confess those things which were denied, while at the same time possessing a basis for denying those very sentences which he confessed. And he says, in order to expose such snares, these are evil snares, 
something which becomes necessary with a certain frequency in every century, no other method is required other than the following. Quote, Whenever it becomes necessary to expose statements which disguise some suspected error or danger under the veil of ambiguity, one must denounce the perverse meaning under which the error opposed to Catholic truth is camouflaged. End quote. In other words, just because they say Catholic things in the midst of boldly contradicting Catholic teaching, it doesn't make any difference. You hold them to the heretical meaning. And in the next part, I'll address these total lies about out of context. Yeah, just like Dominus Jesus doesn't say that they're true particular churches or means of salvation.